Babs, who was prolific in that first map. Molly set by Izza at Donut as a decoy because the main hit is coming on B. MIBR are too strong over here. Yeah, Shani's going to find that no one's here, though, when I think Kiss is spotting a bit of info. Might send these CTs scrambling. Preemptive flashbang, but nothing behind it. Danny with the dualies. This is the key element to this round. And she's about to get contact. They're swinging on through. Gabby flashbang was great, but still hits the headshot. Pre-aims the angle. Babs gets one back and another. So they're still fighting forward. Keeping it in the two on two. There's a slight gap in that smoke. And the CTs are exploiting it perfectly. But the bomb goes down. Becomes the retake. Car is stuck. He's aimed towards the cave. Gonna be the key piece for the tease. Kizza moving forward. I think she's aware of this swing, looking for the headshot, and she finds it. Christine, but a swing from Carr at a second. It's two for her. And Furia get the pistol. Furia needed that. I'll tell you what, the execution of the bomb site initially was great. And then MIBR were just coming up with kills, just conjuring them out of absolutely nothing. And when there's the overextension at Cave, with this kill right here, I think it's all said and done. But close range, car clutches, her of the B bomb site, name a more iconic duo. Forces the eco out of MIBR. And for Fury, now it's just a case of damage limitation. Maybe a set play in towards middle. Babs has got the, the Zeus in B in, in K for a classic position. The USB is trying to overwhelm mid. Uh, they get one. That's all it's going to be. Can Babs find a kill here? There's a chance of it. Gabby's low and, and going on a bit of a, a looky loo. But Babs walks around and Gabby is holding for it. So it's just the one that falls. And that's fine. That, that's perfectly fine. If you fear it, yet again, they drop the Mac 10, they pick up the Galil, they still got all the AKs. No AWP for Furs, you can't afford that just yet. So it will be rifle work primarily. See that Danny downgrades to a FAMAS, so she has all of that utility. And now we get to see it. This is where I start to get a little bit excited. I want to see how MIBR address this. Are they going to fight for middle pretty proactively? Or are they going to go for extremity pushes? Instantaneous smoke. That's not affecting her journey. She's going to keep pushing. Gets met with a nade. Great molly as well. Prevents the shelf scaling. And it means that Fury can wait out the Molotovs thrown by MIBR. And now they can fight together. They also went thrown up towards ledge just to prevent the, the fight down towards lane. The journey can't try and... Swing on through with the combination of cave and ramp. Now Fury, the waiting game. Bit of patience with the smoke spade. Danny's getting aggressive. The flashbang was good, but she's a little ahead of it. A journey. I'll get the one, but waste her entire load of ammunition to find it. And Gabs just swings her into mid. This one's looking perfect for Fury, but Kiss has found one back. Car makes the right call. Escapes with the bomb. That's info, though. Kizza knows that there could be a player over here, but more importantly, no one in mid. Fursy, stay donor, just in case they reset A, which is exactly what they're doing. You can see that Fira is so worried about these flanks. And actually, they're going to call everyone back. They want to rendezvous over at spawn, reset into B. And that's because they assume that Kizza would have gone searching. And this is completely the right call. Fursy locked in with that smoke. Now we'll look in towards mid, but Kizza's not sure. Goes back in towards cave. 30 seconds left. Furia, where they've slowed this play down, it's actually playing to MIBR's hands. Yeah, Kizza seems fully aware, but they, they're going to walk up ramp. So unless someone comes up towards cave, it's still going to be a 2v3. And I don't think Kizza can really do anything to deny. She's going to hear them all running on in. Maybe she decides just to walk down the ramp, try and pull off a, a bit of a flanking maneuver. Good HE forward is going to do some serious damage. Kiss is still an unknown element. Furzy has crept on in, but fires off a bullet. Wonder how aware they are of her position. Well, now fully aware. Kizza finally activates, gets that first kill. Continues to fight on forward, spots out car. Gabs is just sitting default the whole time. There's nothing being given up here. Yeah, Kiz is just going to bail. No kit, no time. Furia, 3-0. Yeah, well played by Furia. It's the fact they go together. They don't split up right at the very end. I was worried they might try and walk through cave. Instead, it's just a, a brute force attempt up the ramp. And they did it with contact as well. Wait until the last moment to announce their presence on the bomb site. 
It's a shame for for Furzy especially because as she does significant damage with this nade, it feels like she's going to be the player that takes all the contact. But Kizza was really slow because she was worried about someone turning around and with Cars forward position, you can never really clutch up from that spot. So Furia maintain. That round's a lot closer though on the rifles, but MIBR once again relegated down to the lesser weaponry. Kizza will keep her AK, Daddy on the MP9, but it's just armor and pistols for the rest. See if they can get anything done with this half bite. Fury with a much cleaner start. Danny swings over again, and this time she finds success and she makes it a double. However, Issa did get two on her way through, so it's even trading. Danny does end up with space, but look at this response. Oh, but the bomb is solo. Car. Babs heard it. Car seems aware that a push could come, but I think Babs is going to miss the timing. Yeah, Car's managed to, to run on by. Should still be a pretty well-timed flank, though. Bursley might get caught off by this position of Gabs. A lot of damage done, but can't find the kill. AK jumping over. Oh, there's a double up. There's a boost. There's two players. It's a wild spray. Everyone is so low, but it doesn't matter. Car with another double kill. That's scary. Car takes the initiative after being called off guard by the boost, but her position is known. She just wants to guarantee further damage. She knows that she's up against mostly unarmored opponents or low damage. The fact that Danny gets two here is criminal, to be honest. That should never be happening with the MP9. The fact that is a is able to trade out in middle really helps out furia but i tell you what these rounds are getting closer by the minute and now first is on the orb they finally get to see it out after all the impact she found on the opening map oh that hate she yeah you needed to be keeping an eye on it because she threw it into the smoke which is obviously going to blow that smoke so that player tucked into the corner able to find the kill at least the trade was quick look at their fighting up ramp they're, they're ahead of the smokes here Daddy, is she getting ready for them to be right here? Flash over the top, and no, not quite ready for that close range. Kids are at least, again, very fast on these trades. Good incendiary, keeps Xenia at bay. She has to fall back. And now you get your rotates in. Keep your eye on Gabby, because she's going to be late round lurking. And also, again, for Furia, more than enough time on the clock to bring the bomb in towards mid. Furzy reroutes with the orb. We'll see this molly go down, and that will call MIBR over. She can't see through the flames. We should try and at least deny the bomb. That won't be a possibility. It has to be a retake from MIBR, and they will go for this. Fursy holding for me, but no one quite that. Gabby swings. Fursy is very exposed to that angle, but no need for her to budge just yet. Double in donut, there is multiple smokes. They can completely isolate this position. Smoke towards main. Molly behind double. It's not quite onto donut. Gabby's position, no, and Kizza just jumps on through. She's looking for the bomb. She can't quite find it. It's very messy. And the HE forward, but the kill's coming on through, and it's all in the car, but time isn't there. The delay was enough. Kizza couldn't find the bomb. And again, it's car clutching. And it's all of them might be are exploding right at the very end. Bomb goes off. They don't get to retain their rifles. I feel like the, the smoke in towards Donut would have been better there. You could see that the way that they were using their utility it was to cut off the common angles. But one smoke on the bomb actually completely disorientates MIBR. And I feel like the molly didn't quite spread where they intended. And as a result, uh, the player behind Big Box was able to get a lot of intel. You can see Carr getting quite vocal here on the cameras, just saying, just chill out, guys. It can't rely on me clutching basically every round. It was her in the pistol. It was her in the previous against the eco. It was her in this round just knocking the diffuser off the bomb. I said she had to step up. I said it would be a different map. I didn't expect her to be having this level of impact, but it's good to see from Carr. As far as they didn't throw the smoke just forward in towards uh, Donut, I guess they didn't have the, the temple control. So uh, we're worried about... Potentially a third player coming out of there late. Another half bite. This one's a bit more leaning towards the A side of the map. The players hanging out in towards the donut. They've used all their utility. It wasn't much of it because it's just got this soul smoke to lock down B with. Hoping that they don't come there. 
But they are going there. We don't always get what we want. This is really nice from Furia. Just the, the way they've been conditioning MIBR over towards A in the last couple of rounds. You need to put prioritization on the middle of the map because Furia have been able to exploit the defense just by poking holes in it by walking up. And Gabby just finds two entries. Okay, well, that was pretty decent. And the best bit is, this time around, Fury aren't going to reset. What? They're just going to keep going. Gabby, one HP, finds more, will eventually be traded out. But that's even more confirmed info for Fury. They can scale up ramp. They can re-volley all of their utility into B. Stack of smokes. It's not going to deter Fury. They know they just have the numbers. Nice try from Kizza. Does get one. It's crazy that Gav just walks into the side on 1 HP and finds another kill. The smoke. Okay. Should be a known gap at this stage. And yeah, Xenia is covering for it. Yuri having no issues against the half by thanks to the lurk over towards A main. Uh, BR get another chance with Furzy on the op. You can see these great entries from Gabby again. This one's nuts. Just walks in. Babs. Should have had a dead to rights, but Gabby a little bit quicker. Log contestment here in middle, but the counter utility has always been so good for Furia. Full blind. Finally. Hajoni applies the pressure, but take a look at this. Furia. It was all a ruse yet again. They are playing the art of deception right now on Ancient. They've got everyone pulled over to the B side of the map whilst they're taking space in towards Shell. Smoke goes forward. Furzy will find a kill before it blooms, but Gabby with the instant trade taking Donut space. I think that kill from Furzy should be enough, but this control is quite strong. Gabby spots out one. Tell she's ready to fight on four, but there's two on the other side. Car comes over to support. They know that if they can win out this donut fight, that can set them back up. And Car gets the first kill. Gabby the second. And it might be hard despite two openers. Are looking like this one's closed. Kiz are still keen to give it a look in, knowing that they really need to start getting some rounds onto the board. It's a struggle. Space being taken, but there's no smoke. Nothing to cover off this bomb. And his patience from the T sitting on back. A flash bomb through is the slings on in, and they're out of there. They're being hunted as well. Hounded. The Furzy at least able to give them a pathway through. Fury are relentless. It's too easy for Fury. And it's all based off of just adding slight variations in the round. I feel like on that eco where. Gabs finds free. She just goes, okay, look, I feel like A is pretty vulnerable. If we apply pressure, also in all of the gun rounds, they might be R, they've been leaning B heavily. They've been dropping smokes by the double doors. They've been really proactive and trying to take the Jaguar space alongside fighting middle. The scaling isn't going to be over at A. At worst, there's going to be one player. At best, there's none. And so Furio just roll out the red carpet for themselves. They walk into this empty bomb site. And MIBR, they feel like they've got to consistently come up with these solutions on the fly. And it's just not working out. Yeah, it's a stark contrast <laughs> to map one. But I suppose you kind of mentioned we, we didn't really get to see a lot of the CT side. And yeah. it definitely was, wasn't was as... Uh, dominant as the, the T side was. They were certainly carried across by that strong start to the map. Another opener. Babs has been delivering these consistently. They need, though, is a closer. This is nice. A little bait and switch. Danny could potentially get just baited into this angle, but Furia, they want to go mid again. This time it's different. His journey is in towards Donut. You've also got a player over at A in Babs, who's already got a kill. His journey spotted off, and now a pathway potentially open towards Red if Furia want it, but no, they're committed to A. But Babs is here, the unknown entity in the bomb site. His journey takes the contact, and that allows space for Babs to tuck around this corner. They're not ready for her out, Donut, whatsoever. Yeah, she's in the perfect position to end this round. Guess one at least. Car was being thorough, covering it off. A smoke comes on through and again. 
So it might be out with the advantage as the bomb goes down, but it's still a difficult retake. A lack of utility. There are two kits in play, but they need to find their marks. Kisses being very patient in towards middle. They know no one is in A main. That's the key difference here. Car's just jiggling the angle. Waiting to see if someone's coming through. Kizza walks on in. Flashbang four to five, but Kizza's found one. It is a... This is difficult. Kizza just runs on past, not expecting him to be there. And Furzy at least providing the overwatch. So maybe I will get on the board. That's close. I'm not... I feel like Kizza thought the round was over. And there wasn't another player. You've cleared Temple. You've had a look into A main. You, you know that they have to be in Donut. Well done from MIBR because they did adjust here. They did make sure that there wasn't really any gaps for Fury to try and exploit. And when they did, they had the early warning systems. They had the rotations come over at the perfect time. It wasn't premature either. MIBR waited until they got the direct confirmation that it was going to be this play onto the bomb site. They didn't leave themselves vulnerable. And that's something that they need to do a little bit more consistently. They need to give themselves a lifeline back in because we saw the T side. And I feel like their T-side will be much better than their CT struggle. Spam through the smoke. Hey, journey, but not a kill found. The damage, Danny. Oh, can't get involved. I absolutely jinxed her. You did. I feel so, I feel so bad. <laughs> she was phenomenal last week as well. well that one's on me. Babs, though, has been phenomenal across both maps. Gabs is just sitting here. Now, do they clear her? It feels like no. they're not aware of her being here at all. I don't think they're going to. No, they're not whatsoever. Gabs says, thank you very much. Oh, not the kills. Two. Yeah, look, 10 HP between them. It's not too bad whatsoever. This fight at long really decides the round here. Izza versus Kizza. Flashbang, not good enough. Izzer able to win out the fight and even gets the kill with the nade. Izzer just locking down the line. They can't do anything and the low HP is finally finished off. MIBR, they had a chance of success and it gets stamped on the floor immediately. Yeah, Gab's just won that round just by sitting there and doing all the damage. She doesn't get either kill, but the bringing them down to 10 HP just means MIBR can't do anything. Izzer good on the close, uh, tail end, but... You know, if Gabs had just gone down there and both those players were on full HP, I might be able to win that round every single time. It's a, it's a 4v2 at that stage. Actually, I think even a 5 on 2. So, this is very much the Fury we expected to see. And now back to A. And it's empty. Closest player, his journey on the Deagle. No one looking at A main. The deep smokes will go forward for Furia. They're trying to leave no stone unturned in this execute. Even leading with flashes. You can be loud about this. Maybe dropping a molly on your teammate isn't the best way to get into the bomb site. But ultimately, it doesn't matter. MIBR are just looking to play retake. And this deep smoke in towards Donut just completely prevents MIBR from truly knowing how many players are on the other side. Bomb planted should be a formality. Yeah, it should be. MIBR will definitely throw their bodies at it though. Any chance for a round would be good, but there is no kit, so they just need to find frags. They need to fight them fast. That's one way to start things out, but Xenia is able to hold for two. Can't quite make it the third. Bomb is being diffused through the smoke. It's a spray as well. Percy is still in here, and yeah, she is not overlooked. Thought maybe she could sneak away with that one, but not going to be. Yeah, I already tried to master the fuse noise by all the footsteps all the bullets just echoing around but where you've got that flank from fury as well just closing the door behind donut you know the last player is probably in the smoke on the bomb so good presence of mind from fury 9-1 is incredibly dominant and where we had kind of the the triple threat of hey journey of babs of Furzy really lighting up the scoreboard on Overpass. Not happening here on Ancient. And we get a bit more of what we expect out of Fury, as you mentioned. But also, when it comes to the kill distribution, everyone here. Bait and switch. A main. It works for the trade. Car not ready for Furzy. Yeah, so it does set them up for, again, an opening advantage. But they haven't been able to hold on to these. There's been at least three rounds where they've found the opening kill. And they've still fallen. But Furzy surely has done enough here. 
Danny should have locked it in with that one. Mazzini is known as well. They drop a smoke into her face. So maybe I will at the very least get their second round here, surely. They can't lose any more players. Oh, they'll be going into the final round of half with not the best fight, but it's okay. Orp gets recovered. They have two rounds, uh, a third, and then the pistol, the story that they're looking to, to paint here. It's so vital they get a third. You win three, it still doesn't feel like enough, but suddenly you get a pistol and you get the conversions and the game looks a lot more competitive, especially with MR12. Berzy activates on the AWP, finally gets put in a position where Fury aren't ready for their two players to be reinforced in A. Fast out, look at this. Gabby tries her best. It's a lot of damage yet again onto one of these players from MIBR, but it's just not the kill conversion. At least that does scare them off middle. It's the same double setup at A, but it's going to be completely absent in the grand scheme of things. Danny, Kizza. Danny needs to be baited in here by Kizza. Could spam though. They have found another kill, and I think off that they've started to move some pieces around. So rotation will come over to, to reinforce B, surely. Yeah, look at Babs. She's pushed through A main. She knows that it has to be the B play. That means that Ejeni can make her way over. Danny, though, oh. is doing everything. Low HP, doesn't matter. A couple of kills already collected. Pazinia trying to close this. A one versus five. It feels improbable. MIBR looking to surely lock in this third round. Don't give her the kills. Finally, they won't. Babs locks it forward. MIBR get free to close.
Fury are in form, looking a lot better on their map pick. We're nine on the T side, Brandon. That feels like the Fury that we expected to see coming into this series. They've awakened, they've arrived, and they're ready to put on a show. Let's see this pistol then from MRBR. Gonna be a BX Zek, but take a look at mid. Fury are already proactively pushing. A lot of players already in towards ledge. That's the bomb spotted, and Carr just wants to completely neutralize them before they can even get up the ramp. Only one player on this B bomb site in Bazinia. He still comes on for Bazinia. is given a bit of an angle onto Danny and finds the kill. Kiss has walked around, but Kiss has dealt with as well. It felt like maybe they're, they're so disconnected. Walking oh. into the site by herself, Gabby walks over onto the bomb and it's 2v2, but Babs is a pistol menace. She's managed to fight back with three. Bazzini is known in the middle of the site and they can just group up together, run her down. The USP only has so many bullets and she's being forced off the line. Babs with a quad kill to save that for MIBR. Yeah, awesome from Babs. Really needed as well. It felt like Furia got a little bit lost in that round. They, they had everything. They had the, the scaling in towards mid. They had MIBR just cordoned off at the doors at B. And it just completely collapses. Bazzini even finds that opening kill on towards the B bomb site. Just make sure she doesn't get flanked. And from there, it's just a Babs masterclass. 17 and 10. There she is. She's been nothing short of, of amazing during both of these maps. So I might be able to get back into it. Their T-side was so strong earlier. You see a, a cool stat coming in play. I, I like this little boost. Peering out on over. I might be able to, uh, nice and patient though. Mm -hmm. I'm just giggling. Sorry, I'm just giggling. But basically, I uh, was a coach for a brief period of time. Uh, no longer. And... My team did this, this exact stack. It was all five of them. And the other team lost the round due to time. And they just completely just didn't plant the bomb. <laughs> and so this, this stack just made me laugh because it reminded me of it. There is the stack and it's not as potent as maybe standing still. Four kills immediately. MIBR are always going to win this round. So I just thought I'd throw in a nice little knowledge tidbit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's quite funny. <laughs> Uh, love when a plan comes together. Watch the watch the demo pack. They had all of A sight, and then the bomb didn't commit until it was like 16 seconds left, and it went from T spawn. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, it might be. I don't have that problem. They just run into the stack and clean it up. So now Furia will have the guns out. Three Famuses litter the field for Furia. Family of Famai. Look at this, double volley of flashbangs over the top. Four of them deployed to get that space in mid. Babs <laughs> takes uh, aim and actually wants to go through the smoke. The flashes were cool. It was like a barrage of, yeah. uh, of supporting utility over the top. Oh, nice oh. flash, but Babs is perfectly tough to avoid it and saves her teammate's life. Car gets one kill from long range and a follow up. But the site is compromised. Good damage on her journey. She is very, very low. Bomb still needs to go down. Smoke should be allowing that. There's a kit on Bazzini. Keep that in mind. They've got smoke as well. Imagine she takes some good control. If Babs is going to redeploy some of this utility. Yeah, she's going to smoke off CT, which will keep that a bit covered. Great, Molotov. That could not have come at a more perfect time. Information gathered. You know Temple. It's definitely an ambition for Furia. Babs needs to be careful, though. As soon as this contact comes through, surely there's going to be a swing coming onto her from in towards middle. There it is. And it leaves it all onto Kizza in towards main. They know she's here. But the bomb needs to be defused. It's being ticked on down. Need to find the kill. But no, Kizza can't connect. And so Furia will win it out. That's so unfortunate. The, the donut player there should be looking at middle. But where it was so delayed from Izza, she plays that to perfection. Also, side note here, Babs spotted Carr jumping into Temple there, communicates it. So I was watching the player cams really intently, and yet they still line up. They don't actually drop any of the early utility into Temple to kind of cordon her off. They allow that double kill to come through. 
That's a slight stumble that would have maybe prevented that round from even being a possibility for Furia. Fighting into mid, and Gabby and Iza get a kill apiece. This time around, MIBR's uh, attempt to breach that part of the map falls flat. Which I think one of those kills is just burning in the flames of the ledge. So that's a bit unlucky. Continue to progress in towards middle, so they do regain this ground that they sought to seek earlier. Sought to seek. So they just sort it. They want to sort it. They yeah. Get their <laughs> plan in motion. There you go. Take it back. <laughs> Smooth jobs. And Fury are going to go on a bit of a reconnaissance mission down ramp to find out what's going on at B. And it's not a lot, is what they're going to quickly clock on to, which is going to allow the rotations to come on through. The smoke is. Really causing an issue for MIVR. They would have loved to accelerate through. So it's Izzy that drops behind. Gabby walking over the top. She sees a foot. So knows that Danny is in the neighborhood. And they've just got them locked in. There's just no way into the side for MIVR. Really nice timing for Fury in that mid round. 50 seconds left on the clock. You need information. Push B with numbers. Immediately, it just means your rotation from mid can come over to A, and that means the donut smoke can be deployed in the first place. MIBR I'll try and molly car out of position over towards Temple, but it didn't happen. She was actually ahead of it. So she was already on site. The player close to the default box just didn't, didn't notice them. She can just tuck in, play off the contact. It was really well layered by Furia. And now M MIBR, it looks like they're going to potentially go out of this map with a whimper. It looked good on the pistol, looked great on the follow-up, but the gun rounds are here and Furia are in control. Okay. <laughs> yep. Very in control. That one is over before it begins. Furia have seven map points to work with. Xenia doing a hell of a job. Both her and Babs kind of on the opposing side. It's these new additions for to each team that are doing a lot of heavy lifting. The difference in MBR is that it feels like it's not quite the same network around. Yeah, I kinda kinda need Thursday. Feel like she's been a bit absent, especially with like the, the lack of orb because of the finances on that CT side. Cool Molly thrown as well. By MIBR, that goes into the middle portion to try and catch timings when Furia try and progress through Jaguar. That one's come into fashion a little bit more. But take a look at this. Furia, mid round, they went B. Early round, they've gone A. They've got all the space. They've got all the info. They know it's going to be a B execute. So they need the rotations over. They're not coming yet, though. So, okay, a re in towards ramp. Car does start to run on over. She's got a full belt of utility she can bring over to reinforce as well. Maybe are looking to commit flashbang. Good, but Izza is up close and personal. Just sprays one down out of ammunition and Babs able to capitalize. But a double up towards long and a boost over for Bazinia. She spots out so many players able to get one, but Babs again finding these kills. Long just planted. Oh, Fursy finding Gabs as well. That's critical. There is a, a very late flank coming from Gabby, who's going to be pushing through T spawn. I feel like Fury are going to give this one a look in. They could just try and end it right here, right now. But a kill not being given out. Babs is so incredibly low and now presented with the chance. Bazzini was fishing for so long and both these T's players are so low. And that might just be it. Furzy has to do it all. Gabby's just sticking the bomb and it can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. Furia looking ferocious on Ancient. What a clutch. Retake coming in as well from Fira. I honestly thought that they were going to save. But Mazzini said, hang on. I reckon I can do something here. Waited. Drew so much attention away that Gabs was able to progress up that ramp and a flank. It was completely capitalized upon. And that's the Fira I expected to see.